In this video, you will meet UBC student Hannah Xie and learn a little bit about her life story. Hannah is currently 21 years old, majoring in global supply chain and logistics management. She is also planning to minor in Asian Canadian and Asian Migration Studies. As I got to learn more about Hannah, I came up with three words to describe my impression of her. Hi Hannah! Um, so, after meeting you, um, I think I want to use three words to describe my impression oh, of you. Oh, and here they are. <laughs> so, I think Hannah is creative, gentle, and family oriented. I think, yeah, it's pretty much described myself. Yeah. But I don't good. think I'm that creative as you thought. Oh, really? Okay, I think you're really creative with your ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and let's take a look at why I think you're creative. In September 2015, Hannah came to Vancouver as an international student to study at University of British Columbia. Her hometown is Zhengzhou in China, and she is the only child of her family. As she lives alone in Vancouver, she found many creative ways to fill up her day. When she is not in class, Hannah enjoys exploring local restaurants, hiking in the nature, volunteering at UBC, or cook up some new dishes and watch reality shows on YouTube. Personally, I think Hannah's creativity is also within the way she perceives the world. If you got to know her better, you will find that she has great ideas, interesting perspectives, and a fun personality. Hannah likes to write down her appointments and important tasks on a calendar planner. It keeps her up to date with everything since there is so much going on at school and in the community. Hannah is expected to graduate in May 2019 with a bachelor's degree in commerce. Currently, she is waiting for the results of her graduate school applications. She applied to UBC, Queen's University, McGill and several other schools in Ontario. Hannah said she is pursuing a master's degree as a means of avoiding working. She is not mentally prepared nor ready to work in a full-time job. At the same time, Hannah thinks a master's degree will make her more competitive in the labor market. After studying, Hannah would like to work in a multicultural and transnational environment so that she can travel to different countries and explore the local culture and local cities. Hannah thinks it is not difficult to find a job, though it will be hard to find the job that she loves and suits her skills. She wants to work in Canada for five years, gain some work experience, and then return to China and continue her career. However, Hannah's parents want her to work and live in Canada permanently. They said they have made huge financial sacrifices to send Hannah to study abroad. Hannah's mom always makes fun of Hannah and said that she must buy her mother a fancy race car after graduation to compensate the loss of sending her abroad. This application is WeChat, a popular Chinese social media platform that Hannah likes to use and share her photos, songs, or videos. She uses WeChat to text message her family, call them, and video call them. It's free of charge and allows easy access to connect with other people. From the way Hannah talks, presents herself, and conveys her ideas, I got the impression that she has a creative yet gentle personality. Hannah's gentleness is demonstrated through her word choice, intonation, facial expression, choice of clothing, and body gestures. When you are hanging around Hannah, you will definitely feel relaxed. Right now, Hannah is about to video call her father through WeChat, whom she talks to on a rare basis. Hello. Hello. When Hannah goes back to China for family visits, she can feel the distance that's growing between her and her cousins. Their interests and worldviews are shaped differently by their different environments. And this growing gap makes Hannah feel uncomfortable and sad. The more I talked to Hannah, the more I saw her as a creative, gentle, and family-oriented girl. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Finally, Hannah said she doesn't really like her English name. If she were to choose, she would introduce herself with a Chinese name in Canada because she thinks English names are too common and that Chinese names are much more personalized and unique. However, most of UBC's professors and students can never pronounce the Chinese name correctly. Hence, Hannah is forced to take on the English name. It was Hannah's grandpa that named her Xie Hua Hui, whereby Hui means sunshine and her grandpa blessed her life to be as bright as the sun.